here's today's video. It was finally published somewhere around midnight last night. And I woke up this morning and 29 people had unsubbed to me. Which is nothing to some vloggers, but when you have 550 subscribers and 29 say bye, it's kind of daunting, you know? And on the other hand, you know, if you state the truth as well as you know the truth, 29 people can't handle it. What are you supposed to do, lie to them? And I could do that. I could lie to people, but that's not what I'm about, folks. That's what everyone else is doing. off to making the best video I can make no matter what. So here we go. It's a bigger issue than most because what it comes down to is a handful of people controlling the information and therefore controlling your thoughts and therefore controlling your feelings and your actions from buying a drone to dying in their wars. Those who control the information control the world. That's all there is to it. It's done out of greed. It's done for money. And this is why metaphysics was banned in so many countries, including at one point the United States of America. And because those, the people who learn how to think for themselves, couldn't be controlled. Their thoughts and actions could not be controlled. So that was no good for the rich people, so they made sure that nobody practiced metaphysics. And the question is not, how can we make sure that John's getting the proper information. They know more about you than you think they know. And so I go to the internet, I want a drone to make my vlogs better, and they know that. So the question isn't, how do we make sure every nickel of John's money is well spent? John's a Democrat, he wants to believe this, he wants to believe that, he wants to believe Trump is a corrupt crazy man and he wants to believe that Hillary Clinton is God's gift to politics. So how do we profit on this? So the question is not uh, how can we make sure John gets the best drone for his money? The question becomes how do we profit off this? How can we get a piece of that $1,200 he's about to put out for a drone? So I wind up with the drone that Google wants me to buy, not the drone that's the best available drone for the money. Because the best available drone for the money might not be advertising on Google. And Google won't get a piece of that action. It's just, it's all done in the name of money and greed. Because they're not telling you the truth. What they're telling you is what they want you to believe so they can sell their plastic shit from China. You think I'm making this up? Let's do this. We can uh, we can run a test on this. Let's let's find a company that's giving Google a big percentage of their ad budget, okay? And let's find the product and let's buy the product and let's do a review on the product and just absolutely rave about it. Tell everybody it's awesome. And let's also make this video poorly produced, poorly edited, just a piece of dog shit, but still 
raves about whatever this product is. And then I'll also um, pay Google or YouTube to advertise and promote and push this video. Now watch this video get a massive amount of traffic. It's not based on truth. I'm going to lie all through this damn thing. And somehow convey to the people, look, don't buy this piece of shit because I'm lying to you as an experiment. But we're going to do it and, um, and watch the traffic, watch my subs go through the roof. And it's all because Google's making a lot of money off that video. If Google is not making money off your video, it's not going to be seen by anybody. So the way to go viral, the way to, the way to get popular is to lie to understand how Google thinks and to push their agenda. Not your agenda. Google's agenda. And imagine this. Imagine, imagine you yourself controlled every thought of every human being. What are you, you going to do with that kind of power? What you're going to do is make a whole lot of money with it. Because you like money, I like money, everybody likes money, and those who say they don't like money are full of shit because it equates to freedom, it equates to the lack of, of stress, it equates to health, it, it, it equates to excitement and adventure. I mean, you can't do much of anything without money, and that's the fact of the situation. So you're going to do what makes you money, and you're not going to stop and say, oh, you know what, I'm sorry, I was just lying to you, as the money, as the millions of dollars are pouring into your bank. <laughs> Say Tom's Steakhouse is a growing franchise throughout America, okay? And Tom decides to run his advertisement campaign on YouTube. So you run across, as, as a YouTuber yourself, you run across Tom's commercial saying, we have the best steaks in America at the best price. He's going to say something like that. That's what they do. So you, as a YouTuber, are trying to figure out how to make money. And you watch this commercial, and you're going to go visit Tom's Steakhouse. You get there, and you eat, you have a great experience, and you genuinely eat the steak that you believe is the best steak you've ever had in your life. As a YouTuber, you can make a video saying this is the best steak in America because you have not had every steak in America. Nobody has. But you can, as a human being, say... This is the best steak I've had in my lifetime. And you make a review of Tom's Steakhouse. And you can also include that this is a good price for this quality of steak. None of that would be lying if you legitimately believe that. So what's going to happen there is because Tom's Steakhouse is advertising with YouTube and giving them a lot of money to run this commercial. You, as a YouTuber, just passing by this issue are going to get traffic to your video because your video is going to increase the sales of Tom's Steakhouse and Tom is going to say hey this was money well spent everybody's jumping on this bandwagon Google wins Tom's Steakhouse wins so the advertisers happy they continue to advertise with YouTube your video helps YouTube's agenda so you win too now if you if you go if you visit Tom's and you're just getting an okay steak, you've had way better, and yeah, the price is good, but you're just getting garbage. You're not going to get a hit, man. You're going to get your average, you know, couple of hits on that, and 
YouTube's not going to make sure you get any traffic. So your choice as a vlogger or a reviewer or just a YouTuber who makes videos is at that point, if it's not that great, the stake's not that great, you can lie or just not do the review. Because if you tell the truth, you're going to lose. So what you have now more and more are people making videos that are just flat out lies because making videos is what they love to do, what they know how to do, and they want to be rich, famous YouTube vloggers. But you know who loses in that equation? And that's the viewers. That's the consumers. So, I mean, if you can live with that, I think there's something wrong with you. If you need money that bad to mislead consumers, then I just think you're a piece of garbage. Well, we all need money. We all love money. I'm no better than anybody else. Nobody loves money more than me. The difference with me is I'm not willing to go below my morality to make it. I don't have to. I have successful businesses operating right this second. I just think somebody somewhere has to stand up and tell the truth. I think it will prevail. Maybe YouTube will just delete my whole channel and all these videos will be toast and no one will ever know the truth. But I'll walk away saying I kept my chin high and I stood for my own morality and what I believed was best for the viewers and the consumer. From the moment we entered the corrupt thought machine called the U.S. public school system, we're taught how to be liars, fakers, actors, and just robotic sheep for the machine. You go to school and you sit up straight and you fold your hands and you allow your brain to be force-fed whatever information they want you to believe. But I'm the kid who was asking the teacher the questions and the teacher couldn't answer the questions so she hated my guts. And I'm still the kid asking the questions and I believe the truth of what I've stood for my whole life will somehow prevail and people will see that big companies see all 6.5 billion people on earth as stupid little machines meant to buy whatever the fuck they're selling. They're just brain dead sheep. Ants marching to the same beat, to the same drum, and all those 6.5 billion people are going to think whatever the hell corporate America wants them to think. And therefore they're going to buy whatever corporate America wants them to buy. That's what these big companies think of you. Just programmable idiots. And in a lot of cases, that's what they are. So here you are in 2018, all grown up, and you're making videos on YouTube, and you do what YouTube wants you to do. And you think what YouTube wants you to think. And you don't rock any boats, you're just a good little student doing your thing. Just sit down, shut up, don't rock the boat, and make your stupid little five minute videos. There's a lot of people on the internet who consider themselves open-minded and smart. Now, so right now, if that's you, I want you to step back just a minute and think about the consequences of a handful of people on the internet controlling the thoughts and therefore controlling the actions of every living human being on planet Earth. Step back and think about the implications of this.